Hello, listeners. This is Paul, your host at the Stories Philippines podcast. Today, I have an intriguing tale for you, sent by one of our listeners, who wants to be called Nika. She shared her chilling experiences during her on-the-job training, OJT, at a grand hotel. So let's dive into her narrative. Nika was a third-year college student, getting her education sponsored by TESTA, a local government program. As part of her course, she was assigned to intern at a luxury hotel. Everything seemed normal during their first week until they were introduced to the night shift. They had this spot, their headquarters of sorts, where they had lunch and took naps during the day. During the night shift, this place also served as their rest area. From the first day, Nika felt a heavy and dark aura in the room, but shrugged it off as just the vibe of the place. By the second week, their schedules changed. Some interns were assigned to the 211 shift and others to the 118 shift. Nika was assigned the 211 shift and experienced her first eerie event during this time. Once, she was asked to deliver service water to room 303 via radio call. However, she mistakenly heard it as room 313 and went to the third floor to deliver it. Unable to find room 313, she decided to go back down when she saw a white figure swiftly pass through the walls from room 315 to 314. Terrified, she quickly went back to the coffee shop before returning to the third floor, this time pretending to be busy on her phone. Another incident happened when Nika was alone mopping the function hall. She heard sounds of people running outside the hall, but saw no one when she checked. She continued mopping until a regular employee arrived and took over her task. The third experience occurred during Nika's 11 to 8 shift. She was alone in the headquarters as her male colleagues preferred to sleep in the storage room. That night, she felt an unsettling sensation of being watched, which kept her awake. She ignored it and tried to sleep. In the week before Holy Week, Nika was assigned to the graveyard shift. She and the receptionist were sleeping in the headquarters when she felt something tapping her foot. She ignored it and pretended to be cold, adjusting her blanket. On the first day of Holy Week, Nika was assigned the 211 shift. While listening to music on Spotify, she experienced a glitch in the sound, followed by a woman's voice whispering, Ingat, careful. She again chose to ignore it. The most peculiar incident happened when she was assigned to clean the second floor. After cleaning and locking room 202, they found footprints in the middle of the room when rechecking. Nobody had entered the room after cleaning, making it impossible for those footprints to be there. They had a similar experience in room 204 as well. While cleaning room 311 with three others, they heard a man's groan coming from inside the room, even though no man was present with them. They immediately went down to the coffee shop and stayed there. So listeners, that ends Nika's eerie tale of her OJT at a grand hotel. The lesson here is to always trust your instincts and not ignore any signs when you feel something is not right. Remember, safety comes first. Stay tuned for more stories about the history of this haunted hotel in our future podcast episodes. Stay safe.